Yo, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Super pumped for today's video because we are playing with the new Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Palette. This is what she looks like. I received this yesterday, October 6th. Today is October 7th and um, it's gonna be a first impressions because I could not wait. I know you guys were curious to see it. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're just gonna wing it. So let's, okay, one thing that I do want to note, I have very, very natural eyelash extensions on. Yes, I know COVID made me obsessed with eyelashes. I can't indulge in my lipsticks. So I was like, you know what? I need something else. Turn into a lash whore. Here I am. So I went and I got this done yesterday. I have been thinking about it for some time, but wasn't really sure about it. But um, my girl, Taranda, we actually went to beauty school together. She has her eyelash extension certification. She does waxing, she does hair. She's just great, but she mainly does a lot of waxing and eyelashes. So I got her to do it and I am obsessed. Mad at myself because this morning I forgot I had them on and I was rubbing my eye and I was like, oh my God. And I ran to the bathroom and I had like all these little lashes all over my face. So yeah, I have, I got the classic, very, very natural. So they're not, you know, they're a little bit longer than my natural lashes. I didn't want anything that was gonna be too prominent, like boom, you know how when you look at some girls and all you see are lashes? I didn't want that. But um, when I go back to get my fill, I decided I am gonna go just a little bit more, a little bit more drama. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there in case anyone notices because I will not be wearing any false lashes due to the extensions. I will top it off with just a little bit of Bad Gal Bang mascara. Some people say you don't need to put mascara on. Some people say it's fine. Because mine are so natural, I am gonna put a little, but only on the ends, just simply because you don't want anything that's gonna be bothering the glue at the base of the extensions because it will make break it down and they will fall out. And also you want to use a oil-free mascara. So Bad Gal Bang, I did my research on it. This was one of the first ones that popped up. So let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do here, we're going to prime the lids. And it's gonna be real interesting doing my eyelash, my eyelashes, doing eyeshadow with <laughs> eyelash extensions on. This isn't something that I will probably be keeping up with for a long time, just simply because I know I do, you know, I wear a lot of eyeshadow. I think this is great for women who maybe don't wear eyeshadow and you want to kind of just wake up and have the look of, oh, like you kind of have makeup on, or especially if you are someone who wants to give your eye an eye lift. I think eyelash extensions are perfect for that. Um, I hear a lot of controversy where people will say, oh, well, it's bad for you. It's not bad for your lashes. Um, it's all about the application. So of course you want to get what someone who is well versed in what they are doing. Just like with any service that you get, you know, if you get someone who doesn't know what they're doing, it can mess you up for sure. And I haven't had any sensitivities to it whatsoever either. I've been totally fine this entire time. All right. So I think, what am I doing? What am I doing? Let's go in first. We're in a build. So this shade right here, I believe it's called Dragonfly. And this is gonna go into our crease. And we're gonna build on this. And I'm super excited to see, you know, the eyelash extensions with eyeshadow on. Okay, next up, we're gonna go in with this shade right here. Venomous Void or Electron. I always get so confused on which shade is what when they have the names on the back of the palette. Let's get a little bit of a tighter brush here. Of course, I'm using my Wayne Goss brushes. Y'all already know. Yesterday when this package arrived, Marilla got it off the front door for me. And he was like, what, what is this? Cause it came in a large black box. I was like, oh, that's eyeshadow. 
He's like, so you mean to tell me eyeshadow was in this big old black box? It's so funny, if you saw my Instagram story, then you saw him doing the actual unboxing and I had to explain to him who Mother Pat McGrath is, why it comes like this. And then of course you saw the receipt and he said $78. I was like, yeah. And so he got a little lesson on Mother Pat yesterday. It was quite hilarious. I told him, I was like, I don't think you believe me that there's really eyeshadow in this box. <laughs> and I'm assuming that Three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, so there's 18 shadows in here. So this is, I don't think she's ever done a palette this big. I believe normally it's just two, four, six, eight. I believe it's only just 12 and those palettes are 130. And I know a lot of that is because of the packaging. So this packaging, like you still have that whole pet vibe, but the packaging is cardboard and it's $78. And I'm gonna be real with you. I understand, you know, the lux of it all with the packaging, but I feel like for this to be a cardboard packaging, it looks good. And I also feel like more people would buy it if the price was cheaper. Like, you know, we just gotta be real with it. Now I get it, her price is her price. I've paid her price, no questions asked, but I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, well, why is this one have more shades and it's cheaper? The packaging is totally different. It's not that really, really heavy lux packaging, which I'm fine because yes, packaging is cool, but it's all about what's on the inside, right? <laughs> Just as long as the inside works, I'm fine with this packaging. Not, not bothered by it whatsoever. Okay, now on the outside here, I wanna take this burgundy shade. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty. Yes. And this is the deepest shade in the palette. Um, you only have one, two, three mattes in this palette. So that is something to be aware of and we have already used all three mattes. If you are a matte lover right off the rip, I don't think you're gonna care for it. Not because there's anything wrong with the quality, but it's just, you know, a preference thing. There's only three mattes in here. So you don't have a lot of wiggle room as far as your transition shade if you're someone who always uses a matte in the transition area. Let's do this. Let's go in with this tone. Well, I don't know. See, this is really calling my name too. I don't know. See, this is the hard thing. Whenever I do, I don't do first impressions often, but whenever I am doing them, especially with an eyeshadow palette, I prefer to do both eyes at the same time. Now, if it's just a normal eye tutorial, then I'll just do one eye and then go ahead and pop on camera and do the other. But for the sake of this video, oh yeah, that's pretty. That's a, that's a good shade right there. The heck? <laughs> Boys, sorry, my dogs are acting up. We're gonna pull this up. Ooh wee, that is, yeah, like electric vibes. So glad I went in with that shade. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, now let's do, you know what? Let's flip it. Let, let's go in with this green shade. Why not? We Oof. Pretty. I live, that's pretty. Not at all what I was expecting to do today, but like I said, first impressions, I really had no game plan. We just, we just vibing. And then why not? Just, we're here. Let's go in with this deep shade right here. This burgundy shade. Let's put a little bit of this on the outside, because why not? Okay. Oh yeah, 
I don't mind it. All right. Maybe we'll pull some of that in there too. Wow, what a look. <laughs> okay. Now let me go back in with that green. Put just a little bit more. Blend that out. I am getting fallout with this kind of greenish shade here. Again, not a bad shade, just the nature of the formula. I don't think people trip out over fallout anymore. I know one time on YouTube, like, oh my God, it has fallout. I'm like, girl, it's, <laughs> it's glitter. Like, <laughs> that's just the nature of the formula. And that can be with a Pat McGrath or Wet and Wild, you know what I mean? Okay, now let's put, I'm gonna go in with Marc Jacobs highliner. Not putting on any eyeliner on the top because I don't want to screw up my lash extensions any more than I already have by rubbing on them. All right, now taking that red burgundy shade. And we're gonna take that green shade that we use in the center. That on the center. Now, of course, this look that I have on right now, this is not an everyday look. I'm sure most people won't wear this to work. However, I'm just playing in the palette. And if you're new here, I'm a hair colorist and makeup artist. I work in a salon. So, so basically anything that I do is gonna be appropriate for my job just because I work in the industry. But I know some may be looking at this like, girl, I couldn't wear this to work. This look, no, but you can definitely get a bunch of looks that you can wear to work. Now it's just gonna be a matter of do you like shimmer or not? If you don't like shimmer, then no, this would not be a work palette for you. All right, now, love, love, love. I'm gonna put some mascara on the bottom and just a little bit on the tops, not going down to the base, just right on the tops there. Okay, so for my mascara for the tops, I already put a little on this eye and I'm just lightly touching it. I don't want to pull, obviously, because I don't want to pull the extension out and the only reason why I feel like I need to do this is because mine are so natural like I just wish they were a little bit darker and it could have just been a matter of the curl that I picked but that's okay well not even the curl that I picked I think just the style that I picked and she told me it would just look like a mascara look which I was fine yeah see I could tell the difference like I like how this looks way more now if it looked like this on the regular basis yeah so we'll see I don't mind this actually I like it a lot so it might just be a matter of keeping the same style that I have and just maybe putting some mascara on it all right you guys here is our finished eye look All right, y'all, so this is the finished look. On my lips, I went in with the oldie but a goodie. This is MAC Lipstick in the shade Antique Velvet, the ultimate fall lip shade. I love a good darky vamp. If you've been here for a while, you already know this, but love this lipstick. Let's talk about the palette. First of all, I will do more looks with this palette. Do not worry. I just really want to get my first impression up because I know you guys are wondering about it and I was just super hyped to use it. I am living for this look. Now let's talk about it. Who is this palette for? Well, who is this palette not for? If you do not care for shimmers, this palette is not for you. I always speak about this all the time. Do not buy things because of the hype 
or because of the sale, if there is one, and you just don't ever wear the, wear the shades, you know what I mean? So if you are someone who just does not wear shimmer tones, you're not into it, you will not enjoy this palette just simply because that is what the bulk of this palette is. There are only three mattes in here, so that is something to please keep in mind. Now, if you are a shimmer queen and you like glitter, you like glitz, I feel like that is what Pat McGrath is known for. I've spoken about it before, and I feel like Pat McGrath and I don't like to generalize, so I don't want anyone to ever think that I'm generalizing. I'm just basing it off of my clientele, my demographic. The majority of my women that I've serviced are mature women, okay? So we're probably thinking, I have a few that are in the range between 30 and 40, but the majority, I can probably say 70%, no, 80% of my clientele is 40 and up. And just from my own observation, women that are 40 and up, not all, we're talking about my <laughs> demographic, my clients that I serve, they do not care for shimmer. So, and the reason being is because we all know shimmer is going to bring things forward. So let's say if you're someone who is just really conscious, let's say maybe you have fine lines, wrinkles, or you have a lot of lines in your eyes, the shimmer is going to intensify that. So that is why I say this might not be a palette for you. However, if you are into shimmer and let's say maybe you are 40 and up and you do like shimmer, rock your shimmer. I'm not telling you that you can't, you do whatever you want. That's just from my observation that I have gathered. I am not the law, I am not the makeup Bible. These are just from what I found, okay? So if you like shimmer, if you like glitz, if you don't mind playing with color, this is for you. This is a colorful palette. Um, you can make this daytime neutral appropriate. So let's say if you roll with shades like this one here, this kind of copper, this burgundy, this gold, the gold here, the copper gold tones, those can be more so daytime friendly. However, they're gonna pack a lot of punch with a lot of shimmer. So that's just my thoughts on it. Let's talk about the formula. The formula's good. You got your stereotypical Auntie Pat formula. She does not come to play. I personally feel when it comes to formulations, Natasha Denona, y'all know that is my absolute favorite. That's my favorite eyeshadow brand, period. I don't care what anyone says. Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath come through when it comes to formula, and that is why the price is what it is. I believe, I know Pat McGrath, she does her stuff in Italy. I feel like Natasha Denona might as well, not 100% sure, but you have to keep in mind, you know, with these names, the factories where they're being manufactured, the formula, that is why the price is what it is. So, and of course, if it's something, if it doesn't fit into your budget or you just can't wrap your brain around spending that much on an eyeshadow palette, don't. You don't have to. When I went live um, this past Sunday, um, one of the girls left a comment. She was saying, oh man, I don't have any luxury makeup. And I stopped what I was doing and I made sure that she understood loud and clear that you do not have to have luxury makeup in order to have a great makeup look. I can turn out some good makeup looks with LA Girl and Maybelline. I've done it plenty of times. Makeup is what you make it. If you have somewhat of a skill level when it comes to especially eyeshadow, you can make any palette look good. So please, please, please don't feel like you need luxury makeup. Do we like luxury makeup? Yes, we like makeup in general. So that is why we dabble in it. So that's gonna wrap up the tutorial and my quick little first impression thoughts on it. Don't worry, we're gonna be turning out some more looks with this palette. Down below in the description box, tell me, are you getting this palette or are you passing on it? Y'all know the deal. I love you so, so much. Keep it simple and I will see you in the next video. Peace.